Outrage over the closing of Fort Wayne's Planned Parenthood Clinic continues tonight. Dozens of people rallied outside of the clinic this evening expressing their frustrations. News Channel 15's Kai Tor K was there. Kai Tor, what did you see while you were out there? Tara, more than 60 people declared that they stand with Planned Parenthood. Even politicians like State Representative Phil Giaquinta and U.S. Congressional candidate Courtney Trich made appearances. Planned Parenthood is under attack. What do we do? Stand up like that. Planned Parenthood supporters marching to a major Fort Wayne road, Jefferson Boulevard. I could not be more thrilled and pleased with the turnout tonight. To rally against the closing of a building they view as critical to women's health and women's rights. I'm sad because I was, when I, I was in foster care and I was adopted, I, I now can afford health insurance, but when I was 15, 16 years old and I had to get, you know, STD testing, Planned Parenthood is where I went. In a press conference this afternoon, the clinic staff revealed they've been on a month-to-month -month lease at the Park West Shopping Center. The owner not content having the controversial business there. Abortion protesters often gathered outside the building, even though the clinic didn't offer abortions. U.S. Congressional candidate Courtney Trich says women have to stand up for their rights. I think it's unfortunate that uh, the fear-mongering and intimidation that is ripping our country apart has found its way into our own backyard um, and causing this health care center to close, and that's unacceptable to me. Planned Parenthood of Indiana and Kentucky President Christy Gillespie says they've been looking for a new Fort Wayne location but say posts on Facebook have forced local developers to not work with them in finding a new location. Planned Parenthood is uh, here to stay. We're not going to go back. Uh, we will still have a presence um, here in the city of Fort Wayne. And uh, my hope is that the health center absence will be short term. Indiana Right to Life's president and the director of Allen County Right to Life released a statement saying they are pleased to see Planned Parenthood is closing. They credit a dwindling customer base and a lack of popularity. The people with Planned Parenthood say the drop in patients is a result of the harassment. Kaitor K, News Channel 15. Kaitor.